Hard to complain about the rain now that it's finally here, but when you see what the runoff from the Las Conchas burn area is doing to the Rio Grande, you'll see that this rain is doing some damage too, and it could kill a lot of fish. News 13's Nancy Laughlin has that from the newsplex. Nancy? Dick, that's right. Wildlife officials say ash and fish definitely do not mix. Neither does ash and drinking water. Thick black goo. It looks like oil flowing right into the Rio Grande. There's no need to be concerned about your drinking water as a result of this. Water authority workers say this is the result of ash from the Los Conchas fire. From Sky Ranger, you can see rain runoff flowing from the fire ravaged Jamis Mountains through Cocha de Pueblo into the river. There's no vegetation to slow it down, but the water authority can. If there's any situations upstream that we're concerned about, we can just shut off the diversion and switch over to groundwater. And they did, shutting down the diversion facility just south of the Alameda Bridge. That means Albuquerque area residents won't be getting any drinking water from the Rio Grande and will rely on groundwater, at least for now. And you can see a big difference in the water north of the city and the water near the Alameda Bridge. I haven't noticed anything different, to be honest with you. The dogs jump in it and they play around. And I haven't noticed any stink or anything different about them. The dogs may not mind the ash, but other creatures do. Game and fish agents say it's deadly for fish. The ash gets into their gills and chokes them. A spokesman for the Water Authority says the diversion will likely last through the weekend. They will continue monitoring the water and hope to take water from the river early next, next week. Back to you. All right, Nancy, as for the Las Conchas fire, it is now 85% contained and in the hot spot mop up stage. It burned more than 156,000 acres and more than 60 homes and cabins.